The path to freedom for one Afghan interpreter went through this canal of raw sewage filled with razor wire. From far away Canada, Sangin Abdul Mateen has been trying for a week to guide his brother to the airport. Both worked as interpreters for the Canadian forces. But every time the family tried to reach the destination given by Canadian authorities, they ran into Taliban checkpoints and desperate crowds. It's thousands of people. Um, yes, adult will make it um, in, in a couple hours to, you know, in that crowd. But if you have a children and a small kids, it's impossible. They found an alternate route. It meant going through sewage. But on the other side, Canadian soldiers. So his brother Rangin waded in. That's him in the light-colored jacket. The moment I like so much where my brother sends me the picture is that where the Canadian um, soldiers are holding their hands and trying to lift them up from the sewage water. That was the moment that made me cry. The next images brought a feeling neither brother had felt in weeks. Relief. Then joy, seeing him aboard the C-17 on his way to Canada, with so many others weary from the escape. We are waiting for the Canadian guys. But for every story of success, there are dozens more of sorrow. That same sewage canal is now overrun, including by other Afghans who worked as interpreters for Canada. And we are waiting for the last three hours in this canal. At another point into the airport, cries of Canadian seemingly go unanswered. Most of the people surrounding me, they doesn't have the proper paperwork. An Afghan contractor who worked for Canada says he's tried to reach the airport five times and failed. We're protecting his identity. He wants Canada to send buses to help them navigate the chaos outside the airport. People are running from the tanks and they were uh, beating the people. So it's too difficult. It's a difficult situation. How are you doing, brother? A difficult situation. Abdul Mateen is happy his brother has escaped. I am so happy to come to that country that they're helping and they're so helpful people. He still has many friends stranded, wading through the sewage, hoping to get pulled out. So his work is far from done. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto.